Hello guys, Austin Powers here, and uh, I'm going to do a little quick video um, on the subject of Battlefield 3 and its reduced map sizes. Um, now, I, I was kind of confused originally when I started playing on maps like Operation Firestorm, Caspian Border, the ones that are supposed to be massive, to see that it felt like the conquest points were just as close to each other if not closer than they were in Battlefield Bad Company 2. I mean, I remember having to go a lot farther in Bad Company 2 than I do in this game. I don't know what it is, and it's kind of annoying because I was really excited for these massive maps and battles sprawling all the way across it. And I guess it makes sense because there's only 24 players, which I am disappointed about also. But, um, even on PC, the maps are not really up to the... the the Im immense size that they were in Battlefield 2, at least it doesn't seem like it. So, I have a question for you guys. What would you rather, and I know that this is kind of like a Call of Duty versus Battlefield 3 kind of thing, because by having smaller maps and more infantry-based combat and stuff like that, it's catering more to Call of Duty players, which they've already done by adding things like aim assist for the, co mm, for the consoles and... Um, by reducing the map size and adding Team Deathmatch. What would you guys rather have? Small maps, an intense combat, and quicker matches, or absolutely massive maps, more vehicles, more players, longer matches, a little bit less fast-paced combat, but and, and further spaced apart objectives? I'm curious to know what you guys think. You know, leave a comment. And, uh, and tell me what your opinion is on the uh, the matter. <clears throat> but um, that's not that's one of the things I want to talk about today. But also, I have something very important to tell you guys. I just had my birthday today. I turned 16 at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I had a very nice day. I woke up a little bit late, went to school, and uh, I did all my homework. And so I pretty much chilled all day. Uh, I had a really, really good dinner. And overall, I'm just super psyched. I'm probably going to get my um, driver's license sometime in November, I believe. I'm taking a driver's ed course and uh, really psyched. This weekend, there's a bunch of Halloween parties. I love Halloween. I think uh, October and, and fall in general is one of my favorite seasons. And um, I'm just really uh, happy right now. Um, not to mention the fact that Battlefield 3 just came out and uh, Skyrim and Saints Row the Third are about to come out. And speaking of Saints Row the Third, if you haven't already seen my Saints Row the Third character creation videos, go check those out. I created a pretty awesome character. I might do another one where I create another character just for fun, um, but this time, like, completely wacky. I think I'd probably want to create a superhero or something. Uh, this one was more down to earth, but he's covered in tattoos and stuff. It's really cool. And um, I did post the code that you need to redeem on Xbox Live Marketplace if you want to download the um, Initiation Station character creation thing. It's not an open beta thing. It's, it's You have to have the code, and um, I, I'm not sure if the code's going to work for everyone. I'm not sure if it's an individual code or not, but um, on both of the videos, there is a code in the description that you can use on Xbox Live. So you can try that out. Hope you guys can get in and test it out for yourselves because it is kind of wacky and fun. And it's very intricate. I mean, I, I, I'm always scared off by all the sliders and stuff. I kind of just skip over them because I can never, you know, I always end up screwing it up if I play with the sliders too much. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't really have much else to say. Um, so, I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'm, the gameplay you're seeing here... Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to post for this video yet. I'm either going to be posting some Conquest on Operation Firestorm or some Team Deathmatch on Karg Island. Um, and, it, and, you know, I, I don't really like the Team Deathmatch mode, not because I don't like Team Deathmatch in general. I just think that DICE didn't do a very good job of making it Team Deathmatch. Um, I think they kind of uh, screwed it up because when you use a random spawn point, you can end up right in front of an enemy. Um, I know several times I spawned right behind enemies and been able to kill them quickly or s see them go into a hiding spot and kill them. It's just kind of unfair to the to the uh, player that spawns in near an enemy or vice versa. And um, 
I, I really wish they would, you know, do something to make it a little bit more like one team starts on one side, one on the other. I think it's kind of uh, weird the way they did it. And um, I, I, in general, I, I think that they have a lot to fix. Now, and don't get me wrong, Battlefield 3 is certainly incredible. Um, I'm loving the game, but they do have a good amount to fix. And I'm, I've got to say, a little bit disappointed uh, at what they haven't fixed from the beta. Because so far, I've seen the running glitch, which it seems to be coming more in the form of just plain lag, which doesn't make any sense considering there should be dedicated servers. Um, so I've been encountering a lot of lag or just the running glitch. I don't know wh which it is, but I'm pretty sure it's lag. Um, and also, if you know that glitch in uh, the beta where you, when you shot, or when an enemy shot, um, the little, like, dust or, um, like, spray that would come out of their gun would stay in the air and it would look like it was still firing. Not any bursts or anything, just a little bit of like, it looks like there's just a little bit of like hovering, moving smoke in the air all over the place. Um, but in a very compact format, it's really weird. Um, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, the running glitch too. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having mixed feelings about Battlefield 3. Uh, and I feel like if there was, if there was, maybe maybe they'll make up for it in the Back to Carcan expansion pack. Maybe they'll have bigger maps. I certainly can't wait for Wake Island because that is one of my favorite maps of all time. Forget in Battlefield, but in just in shooters in general, it's pretty much one of my favorite maps. And I can't wait to see that come back. Um, I, I have not played um, any of the other maps, I don't think, but um, I'm, I'm really excited to see Wake Island in all its glory. Um, on the subject of jets, uh, I, I, I'm liking jets, I guess, but the only complaint I do have is that it feels like they're lacking a little bit of action, especially on consoles in which there's, you know, the maximum amount of, you know, things in the air is going to be like three or four, so it's very hard to get a lot of kills with the jets, especially because of the new vehicle disabled um, function, which is also, you know, not a, not, a, not a thing I'm very fond of. It, it allows people to get out of the vehicle once it's like, you know how when you usually, and you can, you can shoot the vehicle a certain amount of times and you get the destroy. First you get a vehicle damage and then you destroy it. With vehicle disable, it'll, once you're, when you're in the vehicle, it'll like point out that you've been disabled. And so you have the chance to get out of the vehicle before it actually gets exploded. So you, you kill the vehicle and you get vehicle destroyed, but you never get those kills, which can be disappointing if you put a lot of work into getting that, that tank down, or especially if it's a helicopter, if you landed a couple missile launcher shots on it and didn't come down because, or it, it came down, but you didn't get any kills because they jumped out and parachuted down. Um, I'm kind of going off on tangent after tangent here. This isn't really scripted. Um, so on the subject of parachutes, um, Damavan Peak or Damavan Peak is, uh, I'd say, one of my less favorite maps, and not because of the skydiving or anything, but because of the fact that it feels very compact and small in Conquest, and it doesn't feel very expansive. And then in Rush, I just feel like it's a little bit imba imbalanced. I think my favorite map for Rush is Operation Metro. I mean, I know people are going to be like, you know, what are you talking about? How you? But I feel like the strength in Battlefield 3 is not the vehicular combat, but actually the infantry combat, because I found that vehicular combat is not as good as it was in Bad Company 2. So, I mean, you know, the, the smaller maps, or the, the ones that are more infantry focused, tend to be more interesting and more exciting to me. I really love Operation Metro Rush. It's, you know, there's a reason they put that in for the beta. Well, uh, several reasons. One is because they wanted to make sure it was doing well, and two, because it's a really good map. Um, it's really diverse and interesting. And it's probably the most diverse of the maps because it's got three different areas. Um, oh. Oh. They say yawning is contagious, so I wonder if you guys will yawn too. Uh, I, I'm pretty tired, I guess. Um, it's been a, a long, long couple days, long week. And um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this weekend because of all the parties and stuff, but... I feel like I'm going to come back to school on Monday exhausted because I'm not going to get a lot of rest. Um, I do have a massive project due Monday too. But hopefully I will be able to relieve a little bit of that stress with some gaming and uh, some videos that I can send it to you guys on YouTube. And uh, I I'm going to like reiterate this again as a final note because I know this is a request from a specific request from one of my 
I'm not sure if he's a su subscriber, but someone who left a comment on my, one of my videos. Um, he was talking about the size of the maps and uh, how many conquest points and stuff like that. And I think he was referring to the PC version. Um, and he was saying that the, the current 64 player large maps for conquest in uh, the PC version, he thinks those should become medium maps and that there should be even larger ones um, more along the lines of what Battlefield 2 was like. Um, more, and uh, those should be, you know, because he, he was also pointing out how it's very COD oriented, and that's something I completely agree with. Aim assist on the consoles, and um, a lot, it seems like a lot less recoil on a lot of the weapons. Um, it takes not too long to kill enemies, and a lot of more regenerating health, um, you know all that kind of stuff so you know tell me your opinion what would you guys rather would you rather a more call of duty like game like it is now with smaller maps and more concentrated on infantry combat or would you rather a more vehicular and massive battle um please leave a comment telling me which you'd prefer and uh i think you know what else i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna ask you guys leave a comment tell me how you want to see my Xbox destroyed in um, on video. I'm going to do it. I have my old Xbox. I'm going to destroy it. I don't know how yet. Um, leave a comment. I'm probably going to do a video dedicated just to voting on that, and I'll come up with some ideas, but throw some ideas out there. Leave some comments. How would you like to see my Xbox destroyed? And answer the question about the Battlefield 3 map sizes. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick... Uh, so it didn't turn out quick, but this uh, update video on me and... Uh, gaming and um thank you for watching